Club Kalka. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So today I'm making Club Kalka. A friend of mine from Sweden served it to me a couple of weeks ago and I was obsessed with it. Um, and I hope I'm saying that right. Really simple recipe. It's basically a chocolate cake that is kind of gooey in the center, just like a brownie, a little bit of a crust on the outside. Absolute heaven. Anyway, so first up, what I'm doing is I'm gonna cream some sugar and two eggs. One, pop, and two. So creaming eggs is basically whisking it or beating it until it gets really, really pale and quite creamy. Now, this is gonna take all the muscles I have. You could do this in a stand mixer, it'll be a lot easier, but I'm just gonna do it by hand, you know, just to show off a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I think that's good. <laughs> the sugar and the eggs being creamed, as you can see, it's really thick now. I am so tired. <laughs> All right, that's done. Let's set him aside. And now I'm just gonna sift in some flour. Just um, plain flour will do. This recipe, you don't need it to rise. You don't need any self-raising flour or any other raising agents. Like the egg will do its job. We've got some cocoa there. We're sifting in together, both of them, just so that they mix really well. Really beautiful, really gorgeous. Oh, this is so much easier than the whisking. All right, that's looking beautiful. We're done. I'm gonna put a little pinch of salt in there, and now I'm gonna fold through my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients. So, flour and cocoa goes into the bowl. Love a silicon spatula for this reason, it gets everything. Nice little investment. So we're just gonna gently fold all of this together and watch as it combines. It's so pretty, it's like little ribbons. Now this is gonna take a little bit, just be really patient with it. It's gonna be so worth it once it's cooked and the center is gooey and delicious. So I'm folding it because you kind of don't want to beat too much of the air out of the um, creamed sugar and eggs. Like you've made it quite beautiful and fluffy and elegant. So like, let's just fold it in gently and get that in there. I could eat this just as is. Like, I really want to, it's so pretty. All right, that's looking like absolute heaven. We're almost there. Next ingredient that's going in will be a little bit of butter, melted. The butter creates a really beautiful mouthfeel. The inside stays really gooey, but the top is a little bit crispy, a little bit hard. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's gonna go straight in, just melted. I'm gonna also, add a little bit of vanilla bean paste. Usually this is done with vanilla essence, but I love the taste of vanilla bean paste, so that's gonna go in instead. Oh, yum. All right, we're gonna fold this through now, just very gently. Just take your time. Baking's fun, you don't have to take it too seriously. Make sure it's really well combined. So my friend Oscar actually gave me this recipe. I think it's, it's, it's either his mum's or his grandma's and it's just absolutely beautiful. I've obviously changed it and tweaked it a tiny bit, but I think he's gonna be really happy when he sees this. So I've incorporated all of that beautiful butter and also the vanilla bean paste into the little batter that we have here. Look how glossy and silky smooth that is. Oh. Yum, it's looking great. It's ready to go into our spring form tin, which I've pre kind of greased and then put a little layer of more cocoa powder on the bottom. That just helps it not stick and it actually makes a really nice texture on it too. I'm just gonna pour this straight in. Look, you might think that it's a really big tin for such little batter, but with this recipe, the I think it's clad kaka. Um, don't quote me on that. I know I'm gonna get in trouble, but it's really thin. The layer of cake is always really thin. So this is just enough. Ooh. This is absolute heaven. So good looking, so gooey, so delicious. I'm gonna save that to lick later. <laughs> just gonna spread him out. So the batter is in our tin. It's ready to go. It's covered in that beautiful cocoa powder. So it's gonna go into the oven now for about 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees until the top is nice and hard, but the inside is still gooey. So my 
Deutschland Cocker. <laughs> it's finished. He's cooled down. It's time to get him out of the tin. So basically what happens here is he's supposed to be a little bit deflated. Obviously you can see little puncture wounds because I had to check to see it was still gooey in the middle. So he can come off now. So please don't break. The center should be kind of still gooey, kind of like a brownie, but not as set. I'm just gonna slice into him. As you can see, when that comes out, it's still beautiful, gooey in the center. So that's perfect. I'm just gonna serve this little guy up. So to finish this, what you need to do is give whoever you're serving this to a nice big dollop <laughs> of cream. I just love how indulgent this dessert is. That can go on here as well. There you go. Beautiful. A nice big old dusting of icing sugar. I think Oscar's gonna be really happy with me. I'm pretty happy with this as well. So that right there is how you make my friend Oscar's grandma's and mother's Swedish chocolate cake, Claude Kalka. Okay, I said it. <laughs>